Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David. I'm a lawyer in Italy and specialize in immigration in Italy. This is a follow-up video of my previous video regarding how to do shopping in Europe and in Italy, Milano, where I live. Today I want to do for you a very shocking video that actually shocked me so, so much about fake Rolex. As you know, I am Italian citizen, I am Italian resident, I really care about to conserve the copyright of every brand that uh, requires and it's connected to Europe. Doesn't matter if it's a uh, Rolex Swissland, if it's a uh, bag uh, that might be Hermes, Chanel, Gucci, Prada, Versace, whatsoever. For me, it's really important to pursue the law that the law will be enforced. And actually, right now, they're on the market some fake Rolex that are done one on one. So, this one is my Rolex Submariner Gold Blue and Steel, is the Rolex I purchased some years ago. And this one is a very nice copy of it. I would like to make this video with you, very quickly comparison. Please follow this video, do not stop it, because in some minutes, I swear, you will be completely shocked. Let me take this off, let me make some comparison with you. From the first appearance, if you see them on the hand, you will be tricked. They're exactly perfectly the same. The color match, everything match. So the details you can see are very, very, very well done. You will see the quadrant, which is very, very well done. You will see how the greetings of Swiss made on the bottom at six o'clock is made. You will see also the detail you see in the window of the coron, okay? The Swiss coron, it's, it's visible. And there are very, very much details that are very, look the same. This is real gold plated. You will see the same in the copy one. You will see the same blue color. You will see that both dials, they are sort of, you know, matching because they kind of shiny. This is the new model 2023. You will see the thickness of it. You can see from here very clearly how thin is this. Here on the fake, I will have to say it's a little bit more thick. Okay, so this is the detail you have to want to make, to see about. If you see the two cases, actually the two cases are really look like the same. They're very impressively good, well done. I left uh, a sticker here just to show you how identical they are. Look at this. They are really, really identical. The closing is also very well done. It's really impressive. You will see more in details and actually both they have the special closing and adjustment for the length. So this one is the original one. And as you can see, there is this mechanism that allows you basically to open it and adjust it in the length. Okay. So when you open and close it, you feel that it's kind of real. It's kind of pleasant. This one is a little bit more sharp. I would say you hear a different kind of sound. I will put it closer. Huge difference is the sound itself of the watch. So this one, it's shaking, of course, but here you see a huge difference. It's look like, you know, a snake, you know, this kind of sand snake, how you call it? Okay, it's that like, this difference is kind of huge. The details on it, black detail here, it's a little bit different, but again, if you don't have those two watches together, you cannot compare the original with the fake one, you're not gonna sketch it. Be careful when you buy this watch from the hands. In Italy, it's not very common, but you might find somebody proposing you a good deal. It's never a good deal. Trust me, you have to go to a seller. You have to go to someone that really you trust, that is a professional dealer or to the store or to our seller, it's good to buy watches from secondhand stores, but only real stores, not in the streets. Let's hear the sound. So that's very important. Here you can see a very smooth sound. I would say it's very creamy. It's kind of, you know, it's a nice sound. Let's hear the fake one. It's really sharp. Mm. The rhythm is different, is lower and it's more sharp, it's more Acute, right? I don't like this. It's not a pleasant sound. It's kind of disturbing almost. Here now, I would like to stop for a minute and make you really, really shocked. Because you know what? This one is a fake that costs actually 150 euro on Istanbul market. You are very well welcome. This one is also a fake. But this is what people call one one. 
or clean version. Guys, you have to be so damn careful to buy watches. This one is a real one. I specifically bought these models to make you completely astonished and completely shocked. Guys, when I saw this copy, I was joking a couple of weeks with some of my friends that are passionate of Rolex. One guy was ready to give me 10,000 euro for this. And this is a copy that costs 1,000 euro. You have to be so damn careful, guys, when you're buying watches. Well, now let's throw this completely away because this is a poor, you know, it's, it's nothing. It's just a joke. You can buy this to your kid when he will be six years old eventually. And these copies, guys, are terribly good. Terribly good. You will see now in some details, some specifications of these watches, but they're, it, it's terrible. I mean, the gold in the fake version, it's real. I mean, they're doing this coverage of real gold, guys. If you see the thickness, it's so damn identical. You're not gonna spot the difference if you're not a professional and if you don't have enhanced an original one guys there will not be difference let's hear the sound sake identical they are matching it perfectly do you remember the joke about the current let's see fake one it's really smooth right original one It's, it's different. By the way, it's more hard to push the original ones. I have to say another thing. My original one is a 2012 model. So when you will see the video, you will see that this quadrant, it's shining. It's kind of foiled. This one is more opaque. Okay, so this is a huge difference. But if you see the numbers, they look really, really the same. That's crazy. I appositely wanted to to show you how the dial number is identical you see the 18 that's a original one that's the 18 from fake one guys it's terribly good so guys please be careful because there are some fakes around that are terribly good you have to shop carefully if i put this on my hand you're not gonna see it. It's also very smooth in opening. It's it's really incredibly smooth in opening. The same sound you get from the original one that I wear every day. You see the difference. If you have a original one, you see the difference. But guys, it's impossible to get it if you don't have a real original near it. So again, I, I'm always confusing sometimes. This is my original 2012. This is the fake copy. I started to recognize a little bit the color of, of the pimp on the top this copy here guys that cost thousand euro that some friends provided me just recently both listable is crazy guys this is very dangerous so you have to be really really careful because these clean copies are terribly good that's really i don't know how to comment this i hope you appreciate this video i hope you will be more aware in buying watches i want to make you a last bye bye by doing this thing the same as they do in some selling video online i always wanted to do this so this is guys the situation you're not gonna spot well here you see a little huge difference in the length but those two guys terribly good have to be very very careful of what you are buying guys i hope you like this video stay connected with my channel please i would be very very happy for a like and subscription i will make in the near future a video comparison of uh, Chanel flat bag and I will promise you some video of comparison of Kelly and Birkin bags because this is actually a very huge trend in the last year for me as an Italian person doing moda stuff design etc this is a very actual discussion in the high quality luxury market so this thing is astonishing you will be astonished also from the bags thank you for your watching and keep in touch thank you